My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Somewhere in the distance is my first kill for the Dark Brotherhood. You know, I spoke with Sam when I was doing the Outlaws and Revolutionaries quest, helping him out getting his cure for vampirism. And he told me, uh-oh, who's this? Is this a courier? He told me that he did bounty work to disguise the fact that he was a vampire and he was killing other people. But did it ever occur to him to work for the Dark Brotherhood? I wonder. Oh no, the courier was killed. <laughs> this is certainly a way of feeding without drawing too much attention. seem to get in here to feed properly. Let's try it again. Well, I think he might already be fed on. But he's not dead. There we are. Still alive. this, you can't be killed. There. I was starting to wonder if my first mission would have been a failure. Anyway, at least I've fed. There doesn't seem to be anything of value here. Let me see what mill this is. I see it on my map, but it's not marked properly. Ah. It's Angus Mill. Alright, there should be someone else. Narfi. Let me head there now. Guard again. 
All right, we'll keep with the chain lightning. Lucky for you, you get to live a while longer. Come on, come on! You think you can take me? <laughs> I don't just think it. <laughs> ah, you fools. I'm going to have to pay a visit to Isran. This is getting a bit out of control. They must have discovered that Isran and all the others had been turned into vampires. And now they're out for revenge. Pity. I'm sure they have families. I hate to deprive them. Okay, now it's time to head to my next, what do I call it, contract. All right. I've been looking for you. What? Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see. Ah, there's a new lady in charge of the orphanage at Riften. She asked me to hand out these notices to everyone I met. Mm -hmm. Looks like that's it. Got to go. You must be the replacement courier for the one that was destroyed by the mud crabs. <laughs> All right, a little illusion. And now let's see if I can find Narfi. What? What's going on now? bears again. Now it's unfortunate. The last time I was here, one of the bears killed Fastrid. It's a shame. After the work I did to bring her and Klimek together. What a sad end. All right, Narfi's over this way. I may need to wait until night. So much activity here. Oh, there's Klimek now. With his arms crossed. Clemic. Thanks again for delivering those supplies to the Greybeards. It's no problem. Stay safe. You too. Yes, I'm gonna have to wait. This is not good to go and kill that man. With everybody bustling, hustling and bustling. Wait, now what? Sounded like someone else was fighting. What? It's eight o'clock in the morning. All right. I'll just meditate here for a bit.
still there. There's no help coming for you, my friend. All right. Two down. You know, becoming an assassin for the Dark Brotherhood really fits in with my skill set. I think I might enjoy this. Despite how abrasive that Astrid woman is and how she sent assassins to kill me. Hopefully one less dead citizen. All right, it looks like I'm headed back to uh, the Brotherhood Sanctuary. And here we are. Some would call this home. I'm not sure I'm quite ready to do that, though. What's going on? Would you dare risk disobedience and surely punishment? Wait, isn't that that jester and we'll see who gets that I helped at Loria's farm? I had a feeling our paths would cross. At least be civil, Cicero. I for one am delighted Astrid. you and the Night Mother have arrived. Your presence here signals a welcome return to tradition. Oh, what a kind and wise wizard you are! Sure to earn our lady's favor. You and the Night Mother are of course welcome here, Cicero. <laughs> and you will be afforded the respect deserving of your position as keeper. Understood? Husband? Her. Oh, yes, yes, yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you! But make no mistake. I am the leader of this sanctuary. My word is law. Are we clear on that point? Oh, yes, mistress! Perfectly! You're the boss! Hmm. Haughty and are. pompous to the Good. end. I was done speaking with that muttering fool anyway. We've got some business to discuss. Have we now? Do you have a contract for me? I do indeed. You must go to the city of Markarth and speak with the apothecary's assistant. You'll probably find her in the hag's cure when the shop is open. The girl's been running her mouth. Wants an ex-lover killed. She's apparently performed the Black Sacrament. Her name is Muiri. I need you to talk to her, set up the contract, and carry it out. Is there anything else? Just do whatever the contact wishes. Be professional, represent us well, and get the job done. Since it's your first contract, I'll let you keep whatever Muiri pays. She'll be generous, I'm sure. They always are. Right, and I still need to talk with, uh, Nazir. But you, Cicero. Wait, oh wait! 
great. I know. Yes. 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 Cicero never forgets a face. That's right, and I'd never forget that voice or that outfit. You're the man with the wagon transporting his mother. I am. <laughs> not just my mother, our mother. Hmm? Yes, our oh, mother. Yes, yes, indeed. <laughs> and you helped me. You helped poor Cicero. You talked to Lorius and got him to fix my wheel. Oh, you may have pleased me, but you have surely pleased the night mother, and our mother, she will never forget. Well, that's excellent news. You know, Cicero, I have visions sometimes, and I knew the moment that I met you that it was not for the last time. So tell me more about yourself. Me? Yes, you. Oh, Cicero is just the keeper. I keep look after our matron, you see, the night mother. I keep her clean and protected and <laughs> happy. But I am not the listener. Oh, no. There is no listener. Not yet. But someday, 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 I pray that one will come to hear her say the word. <laughs> and what words would those be? All right. So tell me more about this listener. What is a listener? Oh, well, the listener is the only person the Night Mother speaks to. It is the highest honor attainable by a member of the Dark Brotherhood. Hmm, interesting. No, of course, our lady is dead, so she doesn't talk with words, since her lips are rotted <laughs> but inside the listener's head i hear it's intimate ah but there has not been a listener in years and years our lady has not chosen cicero and certainly not astrid or anyone but someday perhaps cicero you're just a bit too exuberant for our mother to choose you as the listener. Just some advice from one family member to another. Tell me more, I'm curious. Why did you come to the sanctuary? The Night Mother's crypt in Breville was desecrated. No. Imperial province is ravaged by strife. Nowhere there is safe at present. So Cicero brought Our Lady to her new home. Here, this is the only sanctuary left in all of Skyrim, you see. Really? Such was my honor as Keeper. Hmm, what are you telling me? That assassination and murder is going out of style? That hardly seems like it would occur here. But you've intrigued me even more, Cicero, and I want to know more about the mother, the Night Mother. Who is she? What? Who is the Night Mother? Yes, who? Oh, oh, oh you jest. <laughs> you jest with gullible Cicero. <laughs> I'm not jesting, Cicero. You, of course, know that the Night Mother is our unholy matron. So you say. The undying spirit of a great woman who birthed the children of Sithis. I see. And killed them <laughs> in his honor. Hmm. That story sounds familiar. There were five children. I don't know where I read that or heard that. And yes, yes, this is familiar to me. So then, tell me about Sithis. Hmm. That's like telling you about the cold of space or terror of midnight. Sithis is all those things. He is the void. 
And what are the duties of a keeper? Oh, Cicero takes care of our lady's body. Oils it, preserves it, keeps it safe. Make sure nobody disrespects our matron's coffin. I see. All right, well, it's been a pleasure to be reacquainted with you, Cicero. I must say, I think you're the only one here that I actually like. Oh, yes, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye. All right, where is Nazir? It's really good to see a friendly face. Even though he is probably mad. <laughs> ah, there he is. What is this, musical chairs, Nazir? Need something? Only to tell you that Narfi is dead. Congratulations. You slaughtered an emaciated beggar in cold blood. You are truly an opponent to be feared. Here's your payment. I'm not sure I appreciate your sense of humor, Redguard. Know also that Anodius Papius is dead. Good. And I hope you were careful in that lumber mill. Those splinters and rusty nails can be quite nasty. Your payment for a job well done. Actually, there was no lumber yard. Don't remember a lumber yard. He was in a tent. Anyway. Ah, uh, let's see. Ah, so, what are your thoughts on Cicero and the Night Mother? I don't like mimes, minstrels, thespians, acrobats, jugglers, troubadours, or tumblers. Flutists give me a headache. I particularly hate jesters. As a rule, I'm also not crazy about the corpses of old women. For the Night Mother, I'll make an exception. But Astrid is the only mistress I serve. For now. Any advice on my current contract? The contracts I dole out are fairly simple. Go to a location and kill the target. But this is different. The jobs Astrid gives you will be more important and usually more complex. Just keep your wits about you. And for Sith's sake, don't get killed. And do you have any more of your so-called symbol contracts? I'm sorry, I don't. Come see me again later. All right, I need to see more about this contract that Astrid has given me. After I spent all that time exploring this place, now I'm suddenly lost. <laughs> well, at least he's happy. All right, Astrid, let me go over this. Uh, Muri, whatever her name is, apothecary assistant at the Hag's Cure in Markarth. Okay. So, that's where I'm headed. Markarth.